Welcome back everybody and in this lesson we're going to work on our integration of the mountains and um, in, the, in between lessons I place it a little bit better but it's not good enough it just still looks like it. the mountains is no it just doesn't look right so what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to uh, work on our uh, integration and put another mountain over here because this doesn't look right if there's a mountain over here, why doesn't uh, why is not a mountain over here? So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to position it better. All right, back to our scene. We got our scene over here, and I'm going to position it a little bit more up and a little bit more to the left. View our final image, and this looks better. It's still a little bit high, so what I'm going to do is. Um, Go to the machine again and move it a little bit down. Go to my camera and I'm gonna view my cam. And we know that our uh, hero building is in here, so it should be good. So I'm going to move it a little bit more up and go to view my final image. And this looks great. This is what I was looking for. All right. We also want another building. Um, I mean a mountain over here so I'm going to just copy my card plug it in here and it's gonna give you weird stuff but no worries and now we got our our building uh, mountains and we're gonna move it put it more behind it or else you get this weird effect I'm gonna show you this effect you see this weird effect so that's because it's intersecting the other one and we don't want it so we're just gonna move it press F we're gonna move it back and move it a little bit down and just let me see how this is looking and we cannot see the mountain so I'm going to move it up so just really easy stuff. Select your your card with your mounts on it and move it a little bit up. Just move it around and you will get the right feeling like this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work better on the on the integration of this of this shot. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to I'm going to feel um, I'm going to flip book it and let me see if this is working nicely. And I'm gonna pause it and I'll be right back. Alright, welcome back and I'm going to cancel this because it's taking a little bit too long and we can also view this the first frames. Alright, we got our sky, we still have to work on the integration but just can look if everything is fine now and it looks great looks like really this is in the back it's not moving a lot because things that are moving a lot doesn't move uh, like um, in the front moves a lot and in the back it doesn't so this is great so what we're going to do right now is we're going to work on the integration of the mountains so what I'm going to do over here is this is really sharp so I'm going to plug in a defocus. I'm going to defocus by 1.5 and I'm going to plug in a soften which give it really like a glowy effect. You don't see it but I see it and it's, it doesn't blur it but it, it softens like all the highlights. Alright what I'm going to do also is I'm going to plug in a gray note and I'm just going to, uh, excuse me, I'm going to plug in a saturation node and I'm going to put it to 0.35. Now it really feels like it's way in the back. So this is good. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to uh, make a um, edge blur, but not too much. Actually, this one was working fine. Yeah, this one is working really nicely. So, the Ashley works. 
And what I'm going to do right now is going to, I'm going to um, put a light wrap. I'm going to plug my B into my sky and my A into my foreground, which is the mountains. And I'm going to only generate my wrap. And I'm going to uh, bump my intensity and my diffuse to something like 90. So the sky is really coming over on top of the mountains, which is going to give you a really nice effect. Um, again, I'm going to uh, I'm going to use Operation Plus, and I'm going to merge it over. And now you can really see the sky is giving the mountains a nice effect. So let's view our final image. And as you can see, it really helps integrating. Like in here, you can see a really harsh edge, but now it's really integrating with the shot nicely. All right. Uh, the next step is we're going to um, we are going to load in our F16 and make it fly over. We got our nice F16 over here from NASA. I'm not going to use the logo, but um, this is a nice F16. We're going to make it fly over, and I'm going to plug in a roto. I already done the roto, and you don't want to see me doing roto for like 10 minutes because you want to really give it an accurate look and here we are and I'm going to pre-mold it and we got our nice jet we're going to move it over to our sky I'm going to press my control, hold my control and move this oh, it's not working, I'm just going to grab all of these and move it over here same as my 16. All right, and now we are going to merge this one over our sky. We want it to. This is the movement of the sky, so we want it to be in front of it. And we want to do this on the after the grade. So what we're going to do is, after the whole denoise part, we're going to plug in our F16. So that's over here. I'm going to create a dot using holding control. And now we got our F16. I'm going to use this transform because it's way too big for the sky, as you can see. Well, it's not too big, but for us, because we wanted to have it like very far away, I'm going to scale it down to something like 0.3. And I'm going to gain it down to something like 0.5. Point four, point three is nice. Yeah. All right. And now we want it to happen on frame ninety because on frame ninety we know we can see our hero building. That's that's when the hero building is in shot. So and it will take something like twenty frames. So let's just do this. Um, I don't know why this is floating. Let's just restore my layout. No, it's still floating. Well, there's no problem. All right. Well, we got our F16 over here, and we want it from frame 90 to be over here, and set a key. And go to frame something like 115 and go all the way to the other side, a little bit up. So there's not like a really cheesy effect. So if we view this from frame 90 till 115, we can see our jet flying over. Well, in the first point of view, it's like, oh, this is really bad or like a really cheesy effect but we can make it really epic with a time blur yep really easy this is time blur um, divisions let's set it to 20 and our shutter speed to something like 0.3 so now we've got our our F16 with a nice motion blur 
and this effect will go really nice with a with a nice uh, shake and give it a real nice shot. So let's go back to our final image and we have our F16 over here which is very big so what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to scale it down to something like 0.25 so it's still too big, let's 0.2 and if we we have a position and it's not good enough, you think it's too high and you don't want to adjust this you can just adjust your center so let's just bump it a little bit down to something like this. I think it's still too big, so I'm going to make 0.16. So now we have our F16 flying over. So this is awesome. So um, I will not create another one because it's the same steps, so you only have to adjust a little bit. So it's really easy to just create a simple F16 flying over. In this little lesson, we created a F16 flying over, we created new mountains, we um, helped the integration of the mountains, uh, we tested it, and we are going to render this out as, um, as a TIFF. Go into my folder, create a new folder, call this a sky replacement. And I'm going to render this out. I'm going to call this set extension. I'm using TIFF because for me this is the best way. And I'm going to render it out and I'll see you in the next lesson where we're going to start our stuff.